You can invite magic into your life through service to others. It's almost hard to believe people live in the circumstances they do. And you see just a light candle in these little shacks you wouldn't believe they actually lived in. These people are just like you, and they are just like me. There's only one difference. They were born on the other side of a mental construct we call a border. But until you come down here and see the challenges that these people deal with on a daily basis, you don't really understand. There is more heart in Mexico than I'm embarrassed to admit than in my own country. Llegué aquí hace siete años y entonces lo primero que encontré fueron perros y más perros. Amo los perros, dedico mi tiempo, mi vida. Si volviera a nacer, volvería a ser lo mismo. En mi casa empecé con uno y cuando me di cuenta tenía 40 perros. De la alberga de nosotros se han adoptado más de 700 perros. Quien vaya y tenga amor para ellos, claro que le damos un perro en adopción. Mis nietos no les gustaban los perros, ahora aman los perros. Gracias, lo hago con todo el amor del mundo. Y estoy muy agradecida, Rancho Feliz, a todos ustedes que vinieron a ayudarnos. 11 years ago, Hailey had this crazy idea that we were going to build a house in two days and somehow we pulled it off. <laughs> they would never have this opportunity. They're proud of their homes. We feel proud that uh, we can contribute and make that happen for them. And a lot of times we'll, we'll come back and we'll go see a family of a house that we built six months ago and see what they've done to the home and they painted and they planted trees and flowers and, and they take pride in that small home. That experience and that uh, relationship that you develop with these people is, uh, is something that lasts, lasts even longer than a lifetime. They live in humbling circumstances, but they make the most of it for sure. And if we can involve ourselves in situations where we help others help ourselves and have a great time doing it, nobody loses in that transaction. We did that pinata this afternoon. Have you ever seen so many smiles in all your life? But it's interesting because I see in these children, I see the, the faces of my own children. And I'm able to, um, to come and be a part of that. And it uh, helps me feel that same love for, the same love that I have for my children, I feel it for, for these children as well. And it's, it's just a beautiful experience. Once you get down here once, you can't stay away. You keep coming. Jim Armstrong and I built a 60-foot tower that we can all go sit in the top for one reason, happy hour. Service to others feeds your soul, it gives you purpose, it makes your life happier and when you're, you're on your final deathbed you can say, you know what, I made a difference in this world. I love it here. I love the feeling, I love the vibe, I love the people, I love the food, I love the music, I love the tequila. What's cool about it, when I came down and I knew I was going to meet a lot more people with really big hearts. Everybody here, enlarged hearts. You never have this many people in this room at one time. <laughs> Not a one of us would be here tonight together if it wasn't for Kevin Johansson. Yeah. yeah. My friend Kevin, Mark's dad Kevin, and then Hailey Faulkner, whose picture's out here. Let's do uh, a You want to honor Kevin, it's what you did today.
What you guys have done is already all the honor Kevin and Heidi would ever ask for. Everybody here has a vision larger than just themselves. Those are the people I want to hang out with. We had 74 people this weekend and in this room being fed. And yeah, that's a pretty remarkable testament to the success of the program as far as I'm concerned. Our program. Thank you. Thank you.